shit. Alright guys, today I'm going to be working right now anyways. This job is a uh, walk-in freezer. It dropped to uh, about 50 degrees. And he said the indoor part, the evaporator piece of equipment inside the walk-in, he said was making a weird noise like it was working hard, but it doesn't make sense. I already checked the motors and everything. They're not over-amping. The caps look good. The thermostat's set to about 38 or so. <clears throat> so I'm going to jump up on the roof. Coil's not frozen or anything. So we're going to jump up on the roof to see what's going on. It's got a remote condenser on this roof. that little one over there. working right above a kitchen and all these exhaust the food smells amazing <laughs> uh, we'll go see what the pressures are and shit on this uh, on this unit Ooh, I should have brought my knee pads up here. Oh, that's gonna suck. Copeland 404 I lost my damn crescent wrench on the last job I was on so that kind of sucks now I gotta use this shit this is leaking That shouldn't be happening. When this is back seated, this shouldn't be leaking. Well, this thing's fucking low. I gotta go get it fired up. I do with that other cap. Yeah, I gotta go fire this thing up. Go change the stat real quick. Alright guys, so basically here's what's going on. This thing is so low on refrigerant that it's meeting the uh, cutout points for the pressure controls so it keeps short cycling. It's really, really low on refrigerant. The solenoid downstairs in the evaporator section is good. Um, it's you know releasing the refrigerant as it's supposed to. This thing is just very low and it's probably because of this king valve. Well, I'm gonna do a quick leak search on the condenser and everything. I'm gonna pull the disconnect on it because I don't want this fucking compressor to get messed up. That's what it is. It's a it's a very low charge. That thing was leaking like crazy. I don't see any oil. 
I mean, and it's putting out 113 degrees out right now, and it, that thing's supposed to be pushing out a lot of hot air, and it's uh, it's cool, like it's comfortable to stand behind. Very low, unfortunately, I don't have 404 refrigerant with me right now. <clears throat> it's kind of rare to come up against 404 equipment, at least here anyways, anymore. Ice machines, though, but uh, yeah, there's like, nothing even in that sight glass probably zip tie this so it's not as loose low on refrigerant 404a needs a good cleaning too he's down leaf detector and I didn't pick up anything anywhere on this system um so I, mean, I think it's just this king valve i'm just gonna throw the cover on top of this and then the rain shield here because i'm gonna be back tomorrow and they're calling forecasting for rain <laughs> sure some clouds up there. sure nobody's down there. Coming down. Oh, fucker. It smells like fucking hairspray, man. It's making me sick to my stomach. My next call is literally right across the street over here. It's an ice machine at a fitness center, so we'll go see what's going on with that real quick. All right, so this one was easy. It was an ice machine. Um, basically, it's really dirty. There's a little lever at the top of this ice, but it's a, it's a ice chipper. Um, and basically, when the, uh, the ice bin gets full, there's a little lever over here opens up and it keeps it, the machine off until the ice goes back down and so the pin doesn't overfill. What happened was this little lever got stuck because it's so dirty. Right now I got it down 
so it's making ice at least <coughs> for the night. And uh, we'll come back with some kind of surprise for this. This one, uh, oh man, that's water. SN28. Refrigeration place is already closed for the night, so I can't get the cleaning materials for this. Um, I'll see if they want to just replace the little little uh, overflow damper or whatever you want to call it. So, all right, all right. So I'm done with that ice machine for now. I'm gonna give them a couple options of uh, replacing that damper. We're just getting it cleaned because I looked at it a little closer and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it clean enough to operate properly again. So, walking back to my truck right now. Like, it was literally across the street. I wasn't that far from it, so I just walked. So, yeah. So, right, so I'm about to go put some gas in it. It's only putting out about 47, 48 in the air. It's not cold enough to uh, keep this thing below. So I pulled in some favors here um, to get some refrigerant <clears throat> to me today because I didn't want these guys to be going without this thing cooling. As you saw downstairs, we're only putting out 48 degree air and uh, these refrigerators need to be maintained at a minimum of like 38 degrees is what the chefs like. So that's what we got to get them. We got to get this thing charged up. It's been running for a while and you can see we're at zero PSI on the suction side. Purged all my lines, we're going to start adding some refrigerant through the suction line um, so we can get it charged up. About a half hour later or so, got it all charged up. It took so long because I just I, the suction line is right on the compressor. It's not like it's downstream a little bit, so I didn't want to add the refrigerant too too quickly. So I was metering it in real fine. We're all charged up. The pressures look pretty decent for uh, what it is ambient and for what it is in the cooler. Uh, sight glass is running clear now. Little little itty bitty bubble there. But um, these pressures look good to me. They've been holding stable, so uh, I'm gonna button this thing. All right, guys, I had to delete some stuff from the memory card. To get this back on my head. And hopefully this is recording. If not, that's gonna suck. But uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm resetting these uh, machines pressure. all buttoned up. I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, see what that evaporator's putting out. You guys have seen this part already, so 
I'll cut the camera. Well, you see it now. walk-in cooler job is done finally um, it's like seven o'clock at night now so from where I'm at right now I got like an hour and a half drive home I'm way outside the valley right now and on the opposite end of the valley it's not like I'm close to my end of the valley see y'all later thank you for watching <laughs>